Welcome to the NADFL channel. Tua Tungavailoa has been under major scrutiny for many reasons, but Dolphins fans have no reason to worry. Brian Flores will make sure Tagavailoa has the tools to succeed. The Miami Dolphins selected Tua Tungavailoa with the fifth overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft with hopes of him taking the Dolphins to the next level. As a top five pick, let alone a quarterback, all eyes focus on you. And that amplifies any tribulations, though Tua has been through plenty of adversity before. His rookie season was a roller coaster, without question. His first start didn't come until week eight and he was even benched a few times thereafter. Subsequently, his play was heavily criticized, especially when compared to the year Justin Herbert enjoyed. But he was coming off a serious hip injury with no preseason to aid him. Thus, there are reasons to be optimistic that Tungavailoa will be great. Here are two of them. 1. The top-tier defensive play under head coach Brian Flores. Brian Flores, the former 15-year New England Patriots staffer completely transformed the Dolphins' defense in 2020. Dolphins went from last in the league 30.9 in the points allowed per game to sixth 21.1. They were also last in the league in sacks in 2019 with 23 and jumped to 10th tied with the Green Bay Packers in the league with 41. For the Dolphins' defense to keep the elite pace, they will have to keep up the turnovers as they led the NFL in total turnovers 29 in 2020. Turnovers and pressures are valued highly for an elite defense and bringing players back who did both in 2020 sets the team up for success moving forward. The youth and veterans mix is perfect for Tagaviloa as keeping the pressure off number one will be a huge help for the Dolphins. Football is a team sport and Tagaviloa is in great hands with Flores guiding him and his peers. 2. Opportunity for Tua Tungavailoa to grow and improve with the Miami Dolphins. The pocket presence was a bit of an issue for Tungavailoa in 2020 as the speed of the NFL is greater than college and it showed. Tungavailoa's first career dropback in his Dolphins debut as a starter resulted in a strip sack by Aaron Donald. The Dolphins eventually won that game but taking sacks didn't stop there. Simply put, Tua must get more out of his wide receivers. But of course, he's not the only rookie quarterback in NFL history to struggle. Peyton Manning, John Elway and Steve Young all had first-year struggles before submitting Hall of Fame careers. There is a learning curve, especially for a player coming off a serious injury and with limited offseason preparation. 